Swift changes are coming after a Baton Rouge judge ruled an ankle monitoring company failed to do their job. It's been a year and a half since three-year-old Devin Page Jr. was hit by a stray bullet and killed as he was sleeping in his own home, and two groups were locked in a gun battle outside. A year later, police linked the gun used in that shootout to Johnny Brown, a juvenile. The company CTS that should have been tracking him was not and will no longer be getting business out of Judge Ebony Johnson Rose. Here's News 2's Nick Perlin. Michael Frederick Hall, the owner of CTS, an ankle monitoring company, admitted multiple times he did not know where Johnny Brown was and failed to notify the court. Prosecutors grilled Frederick Hall, the owner of CTS, an ankle monitoring company, for about an hour, saying the company dropped the ball when monitoring a then-juvenile, Johnny Brown, over the course of two years. And the reason why that upsets the family of Devin Page Jr. is because Brown may have been tied to the killing of their grandson. That was a key component that could have told us where the person was. You know, that's connected to whomever blew my grandbaby's brains out. Documents show Johnny Brown was charged with second-degree murder in March of 2021. He bonded out and was pulled over in June of last year. That's when documents show that police found a gun that was a forensic match to a firearm involved in the murder of Devin Page. Although it is believed the gun found on Brown did not fire the shot that killed Devin Page, knowing where he was the night the toddler was killed could be a huge lead in finding his killer. But the ankle monitor company had no record of where Brown was from April 11th to April 23rd of last year. Devin was killed on April 12th. He had no recollection of where Johnny Brown was and and I'm angry about it. We're hurt by it because I believe we would have if we had had that information we would have been much farther along. Hall even admitted to prosecutors that he was unaware that Johnny Brown had left the state while under his watch. How in the world could this child, Johnny Brown, be in Texas? and nobody knew where he was. Documents from the DA's office say CTS had no reports of monitoring Brown since November 2022, and even go on to say in February of this year, CTS had no idea Brown was wearing an ankle monitor. The ball was dropped. Brown's bond was revoked today, but none of those charges are linked to Devin's killing. We reached out to Frederick Hall to see if he had anything to say about what happened in court today. He told us no comment. In the newsroom, Nick Perlin, WBRZ News 2.